from its spectacular harbour to one of the best beaches in the world. This city has it all. We're in Sydney, which is also home to some incredible vegan food. These are our top places. In fifth place is Kindness Vegan. This completely vegan Thai restaurant is located in the Darlinghurst district of Sydney. It offered little in the way of indoor seating, but was perfect for dining al fresco. The menu was full of artfully designed and prepared Asian dishes, including the rainbow salad which I tried. It was fresh and crunchy, with those cashews adding an extra nutritious touch. It was a little spicy for me, and a bit lacking as they forgot to add my tofu, but it felt like a healthy and filling meal nonetheless. Meanwhile, I had their take on a pad thai. Now, having just come from Southeast Asia, I'd had a lot of good pad thais, which may have skewed my opinion of this a little bit. It didn't live up to those lofty heights, but it still made for an enjoyable eating experience. Now, there was absolutely no disputing that the food looked great here. Sadly for us, there was a shortfall in how it tasted, especially with it coming in at around $20 per head. We were hoping for a little more, but nonetheless, Kindness Vegan is widely regarded as one of the top 10 Thai restaurants in Sydney, so it's well worth checking out. Fourth place goes to Sol Burger. We were in Randwick for this one. However, they have three other locations across the city. What they offer is always changing, so as a result, the burgers we tried may not currently be on the menu. I had the SB Mac, which was their own take on another famous burger that we won't mention. The big difference, this one came with a knife stabbed through the top and it had a little more bread, but otherwise it tasted pretty accurate. I had the buffalo chicken schnitty. It came packed with cabbage and onions and a mock chicken patty soaked in a spicy sauce. It had heat, but I could handle it because of the fresh salad and the soft bun. The shoestring fries were pretty salty for us, but we've learned that it seems like Australian people really do like a salty fry. Overall, this place was your standard vegan burger joint. Although it didn't break any barriers, it made for a nice indulgent treat. And with four establishments across the city, it's easily accessible too. Third place goes to Mother Chu's Vegetarian Kitchen. Located on Pitt Street in Chinatown, this homely establishment is very popular for its entirely veggie and mostly vegan take on some classic Chinese dishes. We shared a portion of crispy tofu with stir-fried veg, some spring rolls and a bowl of white rice each. Although the tofu was relatively plain, its softness contrasted well with the crispy crumb and the crunchy veg, while the tasty sauce added lots of flavour to the dish. They gave us a nice quantity of spring rolls, served with some sweet chilli sauce. I mean, who doesn't love a good duck? Depending on the size of your appetite, the price could rise considerably above the $16 we paid per person. But it was a nice experience, if a little overcrowded. It made for a more authentic meal out, well worth visiting if you fancy a vegan Chinese. Up in second place is Joe's Sandwich Bar. Located round the corner from Martin Place, this little vegan eatery primarily serves the corporate lunchtime rush. Specialising in its artisan sandwiches, you can expect thick, chunky sourdough, well-seasoned and flavoured fillings. And of course, a queue if you head there in the lunchtime hours. But this place is popular for a reason. As you can see, my pumpkin chipotle sandwich looks incredible. The pumpkin was soft, sweet, tender, and complemented the bread so well, I could have eaten three more of them. Although the crust was hard, my miso eggplant sandwich also had me reeling for more. I especially like the creaminess of the avocado and the miso mayo. When it comes to anything artisan, you can expect to pay a little bit more than you might normally, but it's absolutely worth it if you're looking to treat yourself to a fancy lunch. With the variety and the fact that they also sell home-baked cookies, there's absolutely more than one way to treat yourself here. Taking the top spot is Funky Pies. Oh, this was just heaven in a pie case. Located just off Bondi Beach, this is the perfect place to indulge in a lunchtime snack. All the pies are 100% vegan and come with a range of fillings. You might recognize this place as we've already released a video on it. If you haven't seen it yet, Click the link that's appearing in the corner now. We ordered two pies to share. The first of these was the Funky Chunky, and we went full Aussie by adding a dollop of ketchup on top. The pastry was incredible! The filling was so tender, and it all worked together like an orchestra in harmony. The second of those pies was the Easy Chicken Cheesy. The mock meat smothered in that creamy cheesy sauce. 
Oh yeah, this was the one. Well, yeah, they were both the one. Pie perfected. And would you believe, cheap and cheerful too. If you fancy a bit more for your money, you can make them a meal by adding mash, peas and gravy for a few extra dollars. Do not miss this place. Next time, you're in Sydney. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already know, we're on Instagram, Facebook, and have a website where you can read an extended blog on this topic. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and check out our channel. We have lots more like this and even more in the pipeline. 